It's a new month, which means a new Loot Crate is hitting people's mailboxes right about now. For those who don't know, Loot Crate's a service that, for about $20 a month, sends you a blind box of geeky goodness to your door. That's right, you don't know what you're getting. But Loot Crate does a little bit different than other services in that they have a theme every single month. So let's actually check out what Loot Crate has in store. So first and foremost, Loot Crate stands out because they send you this nice little booklet that tells you about the theme, what's in the box, uh, has some articles, has some interesting stuff. Kind of makes it stand out a little bit. So April's theme is dragons, as you can see. So knowing that, because they always announce it ahead of time, I had a good idea that we'd probably see a lot of fantasy-related stuff. So first and foremost, the big thing that is in this box is an Elder Scrolls Online exclusive figure. That's right, so you're not going to find this anywhere else. It's just for people who subscribe to Loot Crate. Um, for those that don't know, Elder Scrolls is a very popular video game, fantasy setting. Um, it's kind of cool. So you're getting something you can't find anywhere else. Uh, it's courtesy of Loot Crate, Bethesda, Zenimax, Symbiote Studios. Uh, cool figure. You know, it's nice to get something that you're not going to be able to find anywhere else. Loot Crate does do a lot of exclusive stuff. Uh, also makes it stand out from other services. Uh, so this one I actually kind of thought, figured we'd probably be getting. It's a Game of Thrones vinyl figure. Game of Thrones popular uh, TV series right now, dominating ratings on HBO, based off of the great books by George R.R. R. Martin. Um, you know, people are talking about them. These came out eh, about a month or so ago, maybe two months ago. The vital figures usually run for about um, 10 bucks a piece, uh, depending on where you're getting, anywhere from 8 to uh, 10 Again, not really shocking. Kind of a cool item. Dragon Jerky. All right, up next we've got from Harkos Labs and Loot Crate Labs, uh, this interesting beef jerky, which is pretty much just beef jerky dyed green. Um... One of the le weaker items, in my first Loot Crate ever, they did give candy randomly. Um, I'm not a big fan of sending food, just because I don't trust it. But, luckily this is packaged. Um, I imagine it's going to be pretty decent jerky, nothing special. But, for those into role-playing, uh, maybe you can add a little bit of flavor to your games. Um, up next is... Dragon Shield Screensaver Cleaner. Or, Screen Cleaner. Um... Pretty much just a screen cleaner in the shape of a dragon shield. Uh, you peel it off, you can screen it with the logo side, washable, reusable, restickable. Um, it's a microfiber screen cleaner. It's, you know, who knows how much this is, I couldn't tell you. But kind of cool, interesting. If you're really into fantasy, I'm sure you're going to dig that. Or you would dig that. Next, 20 sided stress die. You can never have too many 20-sided dice, one that you can squeeze and actually uh, get some frustrations out, especially when your Dungeon Master is being a dick, uh, can be really, really helpful. Um, this one is courtesy of Loot, Crap, Loot Crate Labs. Um, you can use it, I guess, in your gaming if you really want to, or you know, just kind of take out your frustrations. Next up is a 20-sided die, of course. I figured there'd be dice somewhere in the box knowing that it was dragon and fantasy base. 20 side dice, I mean dice really don't go for a whole lot, so overall not really a special thing. If you're a gamer, I'm sure you've got quite a few of these. In fact, I probably have this exact same color in 20 sided die. Um, again, you can never have too many dice. You could probably have too many 20 sided dice, but you know, it's a handy thing. Going with the theme, it works quite well. Um, you gotta throw Loot Crate some props for at least doing that. Finally, is a dragon slayer tag. Um, not all dragons are ta trainable, so that means you need to go out and kill some. Um, and here you can show your abilities of killing dragons through a nice little dog tag. Um, kind of cool. Overall, I'm not a huge... I think I'm going to go slay that dog. Um, I'm not a huge fan of, uh, of uh, gear like this, but some folks are. Again, it's an interesting thing, it's unique, um, you're not going to probably find this on too many shelves, so can't really complain. And then finally, the, the thing that Loot Crate does in all their boxes now is give you this limited edition button um, showing off that you got the Loot Crate um, in what month and with cool design, in this case the dragon that kind of is on the cover of, uh, it's been on some of the, of the stuff they sent out. So, overall neat. Um, 
thoughts about it. I'm going to go with decent box, nothing amazing. Loot Crate, I think, has done better in the past. Uh, but overall, it's a cool thing. I mean, if you're into fantasy, if you're into role-playing games, I can see it being a pretty big deal. And overall, for 20 bucks, you probably about break even on this. So not that bad. Um, as always, you can check us at graphicpolicy.com every single day. We're bringing you all the geeky goodness and geeky news. Or you can check us out here on YouTube. Uh, always find us on Twitter, on Facebook, Graphic Policy. Keep it very consistent. Until next month, keep it geeky.